Hi, in this video today I would like to show you how to display two views at the same time in Microsoft Project. Okay, so basically it's when you are working on any project, sometimes you want to view, sometimes you want to have one more views for your project to see the detail. For example, you want to see the details in timeline or also want to view the detail in the chart list and then chart. Okay, for or, or, or something like show. So, in this video, video today, I will run through one by one how to view this for you for more detail. Okay, so now, let's get started. Okay, so for example, this is Microsoft Project I'm working on, and you see here on the top we have the timeline, and the below we have Gancha. Okay. In the gap chart, on the left side, we have the chart list in the table. And on the right side, we have the gap chart or time scale. Okay. Okay. So when you want to take a look in overview project progress, you can see it's on the timeline. Yeah. In the timeline, you just go ahead to add some the milestone or primary keys milestone in your project. So, for example, you have the task a develop BID if this one is my store in the project. So you just go ahead to right click on this one and click on add to timeline. Yeah. Develop BID home page. Oh, it's too long, so ah, this one actually is already added into the break timeline before. And then let me try to add another one design. Okay, this one design. Okay, and in case if your project have the milestone, so milestone basically is the task with the duration is zero. Okay, let me carry us a my stone for you. Add one more row here, and I will name it the planning needed. Okay, the duration should be zero. Yeah. Okay. Format it for the same. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, in my project plan, I have the planning finite year milestone. Let me add it into the timeline. Yeah, you see here? Okay. And in the timeline, you can see the overall, overall project status day by day. You can see which task is behind or ahead of schedule. Okay, so in case if you want to look more detail, I mean, for, for more specific task here, you can take a look into the task list and the list of the timeline, or also even the list in the gun chart. Okay. You see here, we have timeline and gun chart displaying at the same, same time. We have two view. Okay. And you can click on views and navigate to the split view. We, we can display the detail. I click on this one. Yeah. So when you click on the detail view, the timeline will be disappear. Okay. And this is a task form. When you select to any any task, yeah, you can see the uh, detail of this task, selected task. Okay. So for example, in the tab seven here. When you view it in the detail, you can see the tab name is Develop Project Chapter and also duration is 5 days. Okay. The start date, the finish date. Yeah. You can also see some of the task type and percentage of completed. Okay, the ID. Okay, cool. You can also see some of the predecessor tasks of the task. Yeah, you see here in the 
we have the this one will be recognizable by the PM. Okay, here, here, and also the really session will be the key of meeting. It that with ID five. This one. Okay, cool. And you can change to another view by click on the property here in the detail. Okay, that's it. The team planner or uh, the uh, research you is. Network diagram. Okay. Or oh, if this viewing function is not enough here, you can click on more view to see. In the more view dialogs, you can select Azure option here for you. Yeah. So, for example, you select a task detail form. Click on apply button here. It will display the task detail. Okay. More view. Detail and chart. Yeah. Okay. And Microsoft Project is also fully support. For example, you are viewing this one in with the venture. In Gantrak, we have a table list and Gantrak on the right hand here. So, if you want only to view the task list, you are able to adjust the uh, width of this jet over the mouse here and then drop and drop. Yeah. So, here you will have more space for the task list in the project plan for easier to see and checking. The same thing if you want to do add the width for Gantra. Okay, it look better. Okay. So here, in case if you have multiple window viewing at the same time, so you can click on the so width window here. Basically, for now I have only one project, one node MPP file. So. Let me create a new project timeline. New one. Okay. Setting. More. Setting one. Setting two. Setting three. Okay. I add a relationship for that here in this project and I will display the project summary task. Okay. Cool. You see here, so now when I click on submit window, it will be display the project one and project. Oh, let me change it, the name. So this one, project two. Okay, one. So we do project two. Okay. Oh, even if you want to display what project timeline on the screen, you just go ahead to click on Arrange On button here. Yeah. You can see here we have project two and project one. It display in as one. Okay, okay. You can also change the style of displaying. So now here you can see project each project will be uh, displayed on each other. You can also drop and drop to move the location the position of the of each file okay okay so i think it would be great because the microsoft project is fully supposed for 
for, for you to work multiple files at the same time. Okay. So, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you later.